very easy to get stuck in the very particular way that you do your editing. Uh, so I think it's nice sometimes to have a quick refresher and look at some basic tips. So here are seven more simple editing tips. Tip number one, select at the playhead. Well, as of CC 2015, there was an option in sequence to have the selection follow the playhead, which means that as you move the playhead across the clips, it selects that particular clip. I don't like that personally, I find that annoying, but if you do want to select what's under the playhead, just hit D. So if I move across to here, that's, that's obviously not selected, just hit D and that becomes the selected clip. Really useful one. One that you should definitely know, and it relates to the slicing tool, is how to perform it on the timeline. So you might be jogging through with J, K, and L, or something like that. You might be whizzing through. Uh, let's get a whiz through here, and I want to stop it there, and I want to slice. So I just do Control K, and that adds a slice in there. Deselect everything. Well, there may be times when you're sort of zoomed in like this, and you're not absolutely sure if something is selected. So you don't want to zoom out and zoom back in again. So just do Control Shift A and you know that everything is deselected. And uh, ripple trim to the playhead. I mentioned in a previous video that the ripple edit tool, tool B here, is one of my favorite tools. And so ripple trimming to the playhead is really nice. So if you're scrolling through like this, if I want to trim this bit, I press W. And if I scroll through like this and I want to trim in this bit, I press Q. Q and W. Really, really nice and easy. So you scroll in, right? I want them to have walked into focus by the time I start the clip. So I want to get rid of this bit, but I want to shove it all along. That's Q. Easy. If I have multiple cuts and I want to apply the transition across multiple cuts, well, if I just shove in with Control K again, if I just put in a few more slices here to demonstrate the point. Uh, I can pr hold down Control or Command, depending on whether you're on a Wind Windows or Mac, and I can select multiple cuts at once. And now if I right click on here, I can apply the default transition and it applies to all of them, not just one. Otherwise, you would have to go to here and you could apply the default transition, go to the next one, apply a default transition. So holding down control and selecting selects multiple cuts rather than selecting multiple clips. And now we can press control shift A to deselect everything again. Hooray. Another one I use a lot uh, around audio is G. G is a shortcut to bring up the audio gain. So you can either adjust the gain directly here or you can normalize. A lot of the time I normalize and uh, I'll probably normalize to either minus 0.5 or maybe 0 dB uh, across the clips to bring up the volume. And the final one, well, I sometimes slice my clips just to allow accurate normalization. It can get a bit fiddly, but it's something that I, I do occasionally do, particularly if I know there's an unexpected peak. The problem with normalization is that if we have a peak here like this, it will base everything off that. So the normal rest of the track can become still too low in volume as a result of that. So if you know you've got a peak somewhere, just add a slice in there and just normalize this section and then cut there and normalize this section as well. And D to select under the playhead and G to bring up that up and normalize. And maybe we can. So let me give you an example here. So if I cut here and cut here, and I now go to G and normalize, you'll see that that has brought the level up to a much, much higher level, which is great if, you're, if you've got vocal. It might not matter so much for sort of background stuff like this is. This is just sort of a, you know, background ambient sound. But other than that, it brings it up and uh, brings it up, you know, a bit more respectably. Um, respectably. You might have to then do some better sort of transitions, audio transitions between your clips to keep the levels constant, but it's just a sort of tip to avoid the times when normalization doesn't quite do the job. There we go, there's seven additional Premiere tips. Let me know if you like the video and subscribe. If you like the channel, thanks for watching.